Alright, and now we got Wiggler Ahoy, full steam ahead. And basically that Wiggler is really mad that we woke it up. And it's just running around on the beach. I don't know how it you know, came back together, but I guess that's not the important detail. What we have to do is fill up these plants with water. Fill up, please! Ah, uh, I guess I was missing. We have to fill up these plants with water, uh, which will make these uh, like sandcastles just spawn. It'll knock the wiggler over, and then there's a certain area on the wiggler that we just have to ground pound. Thought I might have missed that one for a second. But we have to do this three times, and then uh, the wiggler will be all done. We just have to see where he's going to go next. That one wouldn't work. That might actually work. Oh, I got him on the end. Look at that. Perfect. And now he's just got one hit left. And I think he'll probably come back here uh, to this lone little sandcastle. But I could be wrong. Oh, no, he's here. I might have missed him. Yeah, I missed him. But he'll come back. Just give him a second. Just fill it up real quick. And I missed him again. What the heck? Guess I gotta be a little better on my timing. Should just come back here in a second. Yep. How did that not get him? This doesn't make sense to me. That totally seems like it should have got him. Oh well, I got him that time. Oh wow, he's going way out there. Jeez. Of course, it's the very last one as well. Anyways, yeah, I, he turns to like sand, I think. I really don't get his death. Like he died twice, really. Unless it was a different Wiggler in the last stage that died. I don't... I don't even know. I'm just thinking too much over it. Anyways, let's go grab the shine. Perfect. At least we were close to this one. We didn't have to go halfway across the stage again. Alright, and what is stage four? Uh, Sandbird is born. Ah, this is one of the most exciting stages around. Kind of kidding about that one. Uh, but basically the Sandbird egg has hatched and we just have to go to the shell and find the sandbird. All these guys seem to be celebrating it, or at least that one guy at the start looked like he was. You know, he's just dancing around, having a good time. And then we have to just come along here and go examine everything. I feel like we're causing more harm to this island than doing good to be honest. But I could be completely wrong on that. But it just seems like we're going around killing everything. Which, I mean, I guess we're getting the, the shine sprites, so that's what we were tasked to do. So here's the sandbird. This thing is atrocious. It's uh, it's just a 8 red coin mission, but it's also like an auto-scroller. Uh, wow, I really am going to die right here. Okay. Yeah, I slid right off of him. The sandbird moves around, and you don't keep your traction exactly on him um, when he's moving, so you kind of have to keep yourself, you kind of have to also be moving around at a constant basis uh, because he will uh, move and knock you off of him. Uh, there's also blue coins on the stage, there's four blue coins, um, and I was, I don't know, I was contemplating getting them here so I wouldn't have to come back, but I think I'll just wait, because as I said, I can do all the blue coins at once. Uh, so there's seven red coins on the bird himself, and then he's about to flip. Uh, so we just have to be a little careful. We have the hover nozzle, so that helps us out a little bit. Oh! Okay, or it can kill me. I slid right off of him. Perfect. Alright, he's about to turn again. 
So. I was trying to say that it should be easier for me since I have the hover nozzle. I can't see with this cloud. I'm gonna hover here, and I should be able to land on his tail pretty safely. Wow, he looks weird from the bottom. Uh, but he should be turning back here pretty soon. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just hover again. And I should be good for the rest of this. Is there one more blue coin coming? Nope. Alright. Yeah, as I said, I'm gonna get the blue coins later on. I really don't want to come back for them, to be honest, but I think that will just help me out with organization. Sorry if you guys can hear my dog, she's scratching herself. And the last red coin is just right up here at the top of the tower. With that, we are done with the sandbird, uh, at least until we get the blue coins. Uh, but even after we get the blue coins, we at least don't have to finish the stage. So I guess we're officially done with this stage. Perfect! I really don't like that sandbird. Alright, what are we on now? Il Piantissimo, Sand Sprint. Alright, this one's not too bad. It's a pretty quick one as well. Um, this one's like an actual race. We have this dude named Il Piantissimo. I believe that's it. I can't tell if it's like an I-L or if it's I-I or what it's supposed to be before Piantissimo, uh, but we got this dude that we got a race. Um, what's weird is that he's dressing up as a Pianta. Like, it's just a regular dude underneath that. In fact, he sort of looks like the, uh, some hackers took him- oh jeez, we started the race. Um, oh, what the heck, dude? Some hackers took his uh, model and they removed the helmet, and I think it looked like the, the running man from Ocarina of Time. Um, which would have been cool, actually, to have, but instead they made him wear this weird helmet and uh, dress up like a Pianta, which I think is just kind of odd, to be honest, but I guess it's not really up to me. Anyways, yeah, this one's a, it's a quick stage, but you can't go any faster than him. He says a, I think his record is like 35 seconds, I think. So, no matter what, you can't go any faster than 35 seconds. Although, I think if you beat him, like I just did, I think he will move faster if I replay the stage. But, there's really no no reason to replay the stage. Alright, and next we got Red Coins in the Coral Reef. This is not a very exciting one, actually. Um, it's just some Red Coins in the water. The coins themselves are actually a little uh, glitchy. Just a couple of them. They swim around with some fish, and the fish, or like the coins for some reason, will clip into the ground. It's extremely annoying. We got one red coin here to our left. They, the coins also like to swim away from you. Uh, the coins have like fish mechanics. I might be able to get this one. Yeah, I was able to get that one just fine. But. The other one might be a bit of a pain, uh, but the other red coins are just scattered about here. None of them are really hard to find. It's just the, the ones that go with the fish that will probably cause some sort of problem. Uh, come on. It's right there! Come on, Mario! No! It went into the rock. And it came out. Cool. And it's going right back in. Yeah, if you guys see what I mean, it goes into the ground and... Kinda have to wait for it to clip out. Don't know where it's gonna come out either. It's still in the rocks, what the heck? Gotta wait for these fish to swim away, but it's going back into the rock. Uh, it can also swim closer to the shore, and if it does that, it goes straight into the sand. So it's the same issue over and over again. We also have these uh, fish, which like to eat us. They're extremely irritating as well. Because uh, I don't think we can actually do anything to get rid of them. Come on, I'm so close! Come on! Oh, I got it, cool. Yeah, uh, I don't think we can do anything to get rid of the fish. Because, you know, they're underwater and... You could spray Flood underwater. Oh, never mind. I guess you can only do that in underwater stages. So yeah, I guess the fish are just there to eat us. <laughs> uh, we got two more coins though, which I think are just over here. 
All the coins are, like, in this general area, as I said. Um, it's just those two that go with the fish that's super annoying, because they like to go into the, the ground. I think there's a few blue coins that are like that, too, in this stage. Oh! I didn't realize that dude was there. Anyways, the shine's right here. Thankfully. Could have been another one of those stage stages where it goes across the map. But luckily they aren't feeling that mean this time. I keep bringing that up, but it really never bothered me.